Hello, today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa. I am a creative YouTuber that's trying to have a year long no-buy. And today is the start of, it's going to be like a theme week and it's going to be maybe, how should I put this? I did a theme week a couple of weeks ago where I used YouTuber collab palettes. I loved to record that week and you seem to really really like it which made me so happy so I was like I want to do more theme weeks. I've been doing theme weeks for a couple of years and I really want to continue with that and I'm going to try to be more consistent with that so now it's time again for a new theme week and I have written down some things that I want to do as themes and if you have any themes that you want me to do please leave a comment and I will see maybe I already have it on my list or I haven't thought about it at all but if I'm going to show you I have I have this one and now you may be like what is that for kind of theme but this is some old favorites theme. These were my favorite palettes in 2018, the year when I started to do videos in English and this was my first ever palette favorite video. So I was like maybe I should use these palettes and see like do I still love them <laughs> or not. But just a little bit like a warning, I wasn't that colorful back then. I will leave my old video up here remember it's almost four years old. So the palettes that I do have, I did started, if you can see that video I had different categories, but I talked about this one. This is the Infinite palette by LH Cosmetics. Mine looks like this, it's a really big pan there. <laughs> it's a pan there. Um, this I did talk about like I more like to use it as a face palette which I do so I'm going to use this for my face for this week for like contour blush and highlight but I did talk about this one also talked about the singles I think this was the feather collection from Nabla so it is 12 singles that was a big favorite for me and I do really like these uh, I don't use them all now, but from time to time, pick one of these out. One really old favorite, the Soft Glam from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This has been one of my favorite palettes ever from Anastasia Beverly Hills. The formula on this is amazing. But maybe not the most fun palette. I did talk about the Hasina 2 palette from Blush Tribe that is no longer existing. It looks like this. I talked about Creepy Cute from Shroud. You have probably seen me using this because I've done quite a lot of videos on this. And the last one is the Sulu by US Place. This was my first colorful pa colorful palette I did own. So yeah, I'm going to use these palettes this week. I don't know if this is going to be like such a fun theme as it was when I did my YouTuber collab week, but I am yeah, like it's it's fun to use something that I really did love before, at least I think and see like what I think now because I think I've changed a lot makeup style wise since Four years back. So I hope that you will like this and I don't this isn't as fun as my other week I guess because this is more neutral palette but I want to see what I can do with these and I actually don't know which palette I should start with. Maybe these singles from Nabla and I don't know if this is still available or because when I bought this this was a bundle so maybe you can buy them as singles. I have no idea. So I will prime my eyes and then I guess we just get started. I have no idea actually what I want to do with this one. I don't know. I think I'll start with that one. And I also this morning, <laughs> I remember I haven't done an update on my no buy 
And I was like, maybe I should do it because I have done eight of them. So I thought that I could maybe talk a little bit about that. So this is my new theme week and also an update in my no buy. And I am, um, I have done eight month now. I'm in my ninth, ninth month. And it's still going really good. I have bought like a new foundation. I have talked about that. I bought a um, fresh nude foundation from Body Shop, even though I have one backup still. I have like a hair that is too long to be in my bangs, but for some reason, I just really want to be here. Um, so I counted that one as a buy in my no buy tracker but i still feel like i am um i need to change the battery but i still feel like i am on track with my no buy even though i bought a foundation buying two uh, another battery is like one of the best decisions i've been taking for my youtube channel okay yeah so i did count that as a buy but i still feel like I am on track. I haven't done any like fun shopping <laughs> if you get what I mean. I haven't bought anything just for fun and that feels really good and like now it's September, October, November and December left and I am going to make this. There is some things that I really 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 want to buy and that I think I'm going to buy like the first thing next year and I am going to do a wishlist video I haven't recorded it yet but I'm going to but so far it's still going great with my no buy and it feels like I've changed now I see like a new palette and I'm like yeah that looks really good but it's nothing like I need to use that now. And I felt like my collab palette theme week really did help me. Like I do have palettes in my collection that I do really love. And that I don't give enough attention. As they should have. And it's actually so fun. So yeah, it feels like... It's finally like making sense to me and I'm like, I can do this now. I am on a roll with this and it's going really good and I'm not sad. Okay, I'm a little bit sad with like the Betty Bean and Trout Halloween palette, but I'm going to buy it in January, so yeah. But I am not like sad and it doesn't feel like too hard on me, so that feels really good and... I don't really know when this happened because I guess that you are seeing that I'm putting out more videos right now and um, I've talked a little bit about this a lot that I do not work as much anymore which, which feels really good I'm trying to go home in time every day it's not I'm good at my job but going home in time isn't the thing that I'm good at. You know, like you're almost done at work and then it's just like, okay, I just need to fix this. I just need to fix this. This is just going to take a couple of minutes. And then you have like 10 things that it's going to take a couple of minutes and then it's not a couple of minutes anymore. Okay, it's now, I don't know where to move on with this. I did use this one. I don't know if I want to go in like this or if I want to stay out here. I think I would try to take this one to deepen down my crease, but I don't know if that's going to work. I remember when this collection came out. Maybe it deepened down a little bit. When this collection came out, it was their first like super matte shadows. So some of these are super matte super mad super mad yeah it's a mad shadow um but as normal i have no idea looking up things 
it's not something that I have in me. The only thing I'm going to be a little bit bummed out about is that this is going to be a completely matte look. I do like to do matte looks from time to time, but maybe I'm not feeling it today. And it's now like, what should I take on my lids? Maybe I should just take the one that I tried to deepen down my crease with. So this one, See, it feels fun to be more on YouTube and I really hope that this will stay like uh, that I have the energy to do it and that I <laughs> not lose my motivation but maybe like this theme weeks is a thing for me to discover my collection and also have something to do because I think like one of the hardest things when I'm not I'm super into filming is like what am I going to use what am I going to do for kind of look but if I have these themes I think it's going to be easier for me Okay, I do like this, but it's not like a super fun look, but maybe not everything has to be super fun. Now it's just, I'm a little bit worried. I'm using this, that base, this um, Crease Killer, this eyeshadow primer from Gloss Gods. And I do struggle with this one. It is very like sensitive if I take too much or if I take too little. Then it doesn't hold up like at all. And I haven't figured out yet the best amount. And it usually works really good with shimmers, but with the um, matte shades, it's starting to crease. But I'm trying to really like get the hang of it, but it's a little bit hard actually. I don't know. I don't know what it is with me. I hate when I do this. Like, I did love the Milani eyeshadow primer. I did love it so much. It has been the best eyeshadow primer I have ever tried. And I was just, I just did love it so, so much. And then it was empty. And I was like, I'm going to test something new. Because nobody knows. It's now that I don't know. I think I want something black in this. Should I maybe just deepen down my outer corners? So this is going to be a super simple look. So I'm taking the black one. I think this is called black. Pitch black. And also like with this area. Um, I've had this pound for like four years. And on the back of these it says 12 months. But makeup do hold up longer if you store it right and you're going in with clean brushes and you take care of your makeup it holds so much longer than it says on the packaging and also like use your common sense does it smell funky yeah then you maybe shouldn't use it but if it looks and perform as it used to there are no worries and I guess that like they can promise or they can like this is going to hold for 12 months. After that, we do not take any responsibilities. But yeah, this still looks really good. It works as it should and I have nothing to complain about. And if I do, it's maybe like my ability. <laughs> This is usually what I do for kind of looks if I am maybe going out and eat or going to, I won't say a party, but like how many parties have I gone to this year? One. I'm not a party person. I'm not a people person, so if there's one thing I do not like here in the world, it's other people. I have a few that I like, but people isn't my favorite thing in the world. I don't like to feel uh, lonely. I'm okay with being alone. I don't like to feel lonely. Do, do anybody like to feel lonely? 
but I do not like people. Is that a bad thing to say? I do not ha hate you. <laughs> I do not. <laughs> but like small talk and... No. I am an introvert and... I am... I don't know. It's just me. So, okay. I don't think it's going to get any better than this. I don't think it's going to be any more f fun. More fun than this. So, I guess that I will do my base. I don't have anything more to talk about, I don't think. It felt like this video was going to be super long, but maybe it's just my intro. Uh, so, yeah. I think I will fix my base off cam. I will use this on my face and I will, I haven't decided yet, but I think I'm going to take Andromeda and uh, Milky Way on my face. And I'm going to try to choose a lipstick. I wonder if I'm going to take a normal lipstick to this. I don't know, but yeah, I will fix my base and then I'll come back, wrap this up. This is the finished look and I guess it's a good look, but is it the favorite? No. So I did use this one, Capsize, Leon and Pitch Black on my eyes and they do work really good, the shadows and I think this is like a good complimenter and I do like to have it in my collection. Is it amazing? No. On my wash line I did use Honey Dude from Colourpop and on my face from the Infinity Palette from LH Cosmetics. I did use these two as my contour, mostly this one and just a little bit of dip in that one. I wish though this wasn't like done. Uh, Andromeda for blush and Milky Way as highlighter. And on my lips I did use this LH Cosmetics Majestic in Sepia and I do like the look and this is usually what I go out in if I'm going out in the heat or something like that because it's easy to do and I think it's it does look good it's not like super fun but you don't need to be fun all the time and yeah also I didn't take this one that I haven't checked the name for coconut milk in my inner corners and yeah that is the look and the first look for this theme. I will try to do with a week again. <laughs> I'm just a little bit off with the days. It's Tuesday today and I worked on Sunday so this whole week and I'm off on Friday so this week is just a little bit confusing to me. I don't really know what day it is and uh, what my name is. It feels like that. It feels like it's Wednesday today because it's the third day in a row that I'm working but it's not. It's Wednesday tomorrow. So I hope that I will get this as a week. And I do hope that you will like this week. Even though maybe the palettes. Well the palette isn't that fun. But yeah. Sometimes I do neutral looks as well. So I do really hope that you like this video. And if you're not subscribed to my channel. Please do. So you don't miss any of my videos. And I hope that I will see you in the next one. Bye.